emptiness the starting point. In order to taste my cup of water, you must first empty your cup. My friend, drop all of your preconceived fixed ideas and be neutral. Do you know why this cup is so useful? Because it is empty. Low in the process of life. You can never step in the same water twice, my friend. Like flowing water, life is perpetual movement. There is nothing fixed. Whatever your problems happen to be in the future, remember well that they cannot remain stationary, but must move together with your living spirit. Otherwise, you will drift into artificiality or attempt to solidify the ever flowing. To avoid that, you must change and be flexible. Remember, the usefulness of a cup is in its emptiness. Life has no frontier. Life is wide, limitless. There is no border, no frontier. To live is a constant process of relating. To live is a constant process of relating. So come on out of that shell of isolation and conclusion and relate directly to what is being said. Bear in mind, I seek neither your approval nor to influence you. So do not make up your mind as to this is this or that is that. I will be more than satisfied if you begin to learn to investigate everything yourself from now on. Life simply is. Living in this, when life lives through us, unhampered in its flow. For he who is living is not conscious of living, and in this is the life it lives. Life lives. And in the living flow, no questions are raised. The reason is that life is a living now. So, in order to live life wholeheartedly, the answer is life simply is. Life for its own sake. Realize the fact that you simply live and not live for. The meaning of life. The meaning of life is that it is to be lived, and it is not to be traded and conceptualized and squeezed into a pattern of systems. Life is the effect of feelings. Life is simply what our feelings do to us. The meaning in life. All in all, the goal of my planning and doing is to find a true meaning in life, peace of mind. In order to achieve this peace of mind, the teaching of detachment of Taoism and Zen proved to be valuable. The secret of life. The aphorism as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he, contains the secret of life. James Allen further added, a man is literally what he thinks. This might be a shocking statement, but everything is a state of mind. Meaning is found in relationship. Meaning is the relationship of the foreground figure to the background. Manipulation and control are not the ultimate joy of life. We realize that manipulation and control are not the ultimate joy of life. To become real, to learn to take a stand, to develop one's center, 
to the support of our tonal personality are released to spontaneity. Yes, yes, yes. The essence of life, the essence, free movement of spirit, our original essence. Violence is a part of life. It should be remembered that violence and aggression is part of everyday life now. You see it over the TV. You can't just pretend that it does not exist. The principle of life. Life is never stagnation. It is a constant movement, unrhythmic movement, as well as constant change. Things live by moving and gain strength as they go. Life is sometimes unpleasant. Life is an ever flowing process and somewhere on the panel, some unpleasant things will pop up. It might leave a scar, but then life is flowing and like running water, when it stops, it grows stale. Go bravely on, my friend, because each experience teaches us a lesson. Keep blasting, because life is such that sometimes it is nice and sometimes it is not. The pendulum of life must have balance. Only sober moderation lasts, and that persists through all time. Only the mid part of anything is preserved because the pendulum of life must have balance. And the mid part is the balance. Pliability is life. Be pliable. When a man is living, he is soft and pliable. When he is dead, he becomes rigid. Pliability is life. Rigidity is death. Whether one speaks of man's body, his mind, or his spirit. Life as educator. Life itself is your teacher, and you are in a state of constant learning. To lean is to create. To lean is to express, and to express, you have to create. Creation is never merely repetition. To lean is to express oneself freely in creation. The process of life. Since life is an ever-evolving process, one should flow in this process and discover how to actualize and expand oneself. The oneness of life, the oneness of all life, is a truth that can be fully realized only when false notions of a separate self whose destiny can be considered apart from the whole are forever annihilated. The life of perfection is the simple life. A simple life is one of a plainness in which profit is discarded, cleverness abandoned, selfishness eliminated, and desires reduced. It is the life of perfection which seems to be incomplete, and of fullness seems to be empty. It is the light which is as bright as light but does not dazzle. In short, it is a life of harmony, unity, contentment, tranquility, constancy, enlightenment, peace, and long life. Life must be understood from moment to moment. Life is something for which there is no answer it must be understood from moment to moment. 
the answer we find inevitably conforms to the pattern of what we think we know. Enjoy yourself. Remember, my friend, to enjoy your planning as well as your accomplishment, for life is too short for negative energy.